name is Kenya Fair. I'm 25 years old. I currently live here in Montgomery, Alabama uh, with my dad. I am currently a student at Alabama State University. I major in public relations, communications. In my spare time, I write and I sing. And I am a mother to one beautiful, bold son, Kyrie. And that's it. in Washington State. Um, once my parents split, I moved to Birmingham, Alabama with my dad. And um, then I went, I uh, lived in Birmingham to, up to about kindergarten. Then I moved with, to New Jersey with my mom. Stayed there with her until I was about 11 or 12. From the time being, with her, I grew up in a Baptist church that my family was, my family there was pretty much raised in. Like my mom was a, a kid, so, you know, coming up behind her. Um, it was a Baptist church. You know, they were really strict about what you wore, um, the things you said. Um, the belief, you know, was almost as if, you know, anything that you do, it's almost as if Jesus didn't exist. Like anything you did would, pretty much singing it up. That's where church started for me. So I felt like <laughs> anything that I did, I had to apologize to God a lot of times, you know, in order to stay saved. So then I moved back to Alabama with my dad. Um, by this time in Montgomery, we went to a more liberal church. Um, and I didn't get to really experience too much there to figure out, you know, what I believed in. We went to kids' church. We kind of just colored, you know, pictures of Noah, things like that, and we went home. <clears throat> so I stayed there to about 16. 16, I moved to Kansas City. My mom moved to Kansas City. And um, I attended a, a Pentecostal church. And that's when I actually began to know more about God. There's a pastor speaking at the church one night, his name was Ty Hall, and he was speaking about, you know, God just in general, how he fits into our lives when things don't seem to be going right and how he'll make things happen for you. And I could identify with what he was talking about, so in a more clear way than I've ever felt before. So I felt like, you know, I've gotten to know God. Um, I joined the church, um, was active in, in the youth, church and then I got baptized this time for my second the second time I got baptized the first time was um, in Birmingham <clears throat> with my grandmother when I was 12 so now um, I two years ago I left that church in Kansas City and then I attended another church when I recently moved back to Montgomery um, it was a, it's a non-denominational church and um, it gave me more insight on how to walk by faith, but it was still kind of, it still kind of felt like I was learning about how my works played into that, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and now I'm here. I came to Catalyst. January of this year, um, I, I found out about Cal Catalyst through LeBrandon, him and Jeremy, my cousin, you know, they were roommates, and I had just left a church here in Montgomery, um, you know, because of church hurt, and I was looking for another place, and I didn't, this time, I was very particular on what church that I chose. I didn't just want to go to a church because I need to be in a church. But <laughs> I um, was very particular about what church I wanted to go to, and I wanted to make sure that that church was reading the gospel and everything that they did um, surrounding that was gospel-centered as well. So Brandon invited me to Catalyst, and I want to say my first day, it's funny that I remember that, well, I think it was, no, I'm not going to quote that. But I know it was the second week of January, second Sunday of January, and my first visit, 
The worship was off the chain. Um, Matt, I can't, I can't remember what Matt preached about, but I know it did something to my heart because I was ready to come back the next Sunday. Um, everybody was just welcoming and warm. And the message itself was what was most important. Even though I don't remember what he was talking about, I knew that it was gospel center and I knew that that was the place that I wanted to be. For me, being baptized tomorrow is very important to me because this is my third time getting baptized. However, um, I wanted to be baptized again because I feel like where I am in my life now, knowing the gospel, I'm not going to say I wish this would have happened the first time around because everything happens for a reason, but to me, I consider myself a newly saved person because after coming to understand the gospel literally three months ago, I've seen fruit in my life with just in three months. And for any um, person who's given their, life, given their life to Christ and they actually understand the gospel for what it is, Jesus works really quick in your life. He's ready to produce that fruit because he has an agenda, he has a plan, and he's trying to, you know, save the world. And he's already done that, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> But um, he has a plan and he's not waiting years down the line for it to start. He's As soon as you give your life to him, he's ready to start that day. So, and I've always wondered, you know, people gave their life to Christ. You would see their life turn around like in minutes, you know, in days. And I never understood it, but now I get it because I've come into the knowledge of the gospel and understanding how to respond to Jesus with faith. Yielding and obedience is not easy, but walking that whole thing out with faith. And I'm starting to see fruit in my life. So I'm like, everything else up until this point led me to this moment. I consider myself now um, a newborn in Christ.